Okay, so have you ever had like one of those really relaxing experiences like, you know, you're at the hair salon and the stylist is like washing your hair and it just feels so good. It's like all the stress just melts away. So some people, they get that same feeling, but from like different things, you know, like maybe certain sounds. Yeah. And that's what we're diving into today. This whole world of ASMR. ASMR, have you heard of it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's everywhere these days. I mean, you see it, you know, online. It's really taken off. Totally. And for those listening who are like, wait, what's ASMR? ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Yes. Basically, when certain sounds or sights, they trigger this like super pleasant tingling sensation. Some people describe it as like chills or brain tingles. It's like a wave of relaxation that starts in your head and can like spread throughout your whole body. It's actually pretty wild how much attention it's getting online. Oh yeah, for sure. There are tons of ASMR YouTubers and TikTokers out there creating all sorts of content. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. From whispering and tapping to like crinkling paper or even role-playing different scenarios, it's really become its own genre. Yeah. And it's not just a fad, you know. People are using it for real benefits, like to help them relax. Yeah, de-stress, sleep better, even manage pain. That's right. I mean, the anecdotal evidence is pretty overwhelming. I mean, you just have to look at the comments on these videos and you see people saying, you know, that this is helping them with their anxiety or their insomnia. It's pretty amazing. There's actual science behind this. Yeah. I mean, there have been a growing number of studies looking into ASMR. And while it's still a relatively new field of research, you know, there's definitely some interesting findings emerging. Like, for example, a study in 2018 found that people who watched ASMR videos experienced significant decreases in heart rate and blood pressure. Wow. So their bodies were actually calming down. Exactly. So that means something's happening in the brain too, right? Right. Researchers think that ASMR might be triggering the release of certain neurochemicals like dopamine and endorphins, which are associated with, you know, pleasure and relaxation. Okay, so it's like a natural chill pill, basically. Pretty much. But, but how does it actually work? Like, what's the mechanism? Well, one theory is that it has something to do with mirror neurons. These are neurons in our brains that fire both when we do an action and when we observe someone else doing that same action. You know, your mirror neurons might fire as if you were doing the tapping yourself and that could potentially lead to that tingling sensation. So, like, for example, if you see someone gently tapping on a surface? Interesting. So it's like our brains are tricking us into feeling those sensations in a way. Yeah. But I'm sure there are some skeptics out there. Oh, absolutely. People who think, you know, maybe it's all in people's heads or it's just a fad. What do you say to them? I mean, it's estimated that only about 20 to 50% of people are actually susceptible to it. Well, I think it's important to acknowledge that not everyone experiences ASMR. So, you know, for some people it might just not be their thing, but for those who do experience it, you know, the physiological responses that we see in studies suggest that it's more than just a placebo effect. Okay, so there's real science backing this up, right? Right. And it's not just about feeling good, right? Some people are exploring ASMR as a potential therapy for things like anxiety, insomnia, and chronic pain. Yeah, uh, there's definitely potential there. Uh, it's still early days, but uh, some studies have shown promising results. For example, a study in 2020 found that ASMR videos helped to reduce anxiety and improve mood in people with generalized anxiety disorder. So it could be like a natural alternative to medication or therapy, potentially. Yeah, I mean, more research is definitely needed, but it's an exciting area of exploration. So, for our listeners who are intrigued by all this, where do they even start with ASMR? Well, the best way to find out if ASMR is for you is to just try it. I mean, there's a huge variety of content out there, so... I would say, you know, start exploring, experiment with different triggers and see what works for you. You know what's interesting, though? I've noticed there's a lot of debate online about what is and isn't real ASMR. While others say that any sound or visual that evokes a sense of relaxation or comfort can be considered ASMR. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, some people argue that it has to involve those tingles, right? 
So it's kind of a subjective thing, isn't it? I think it ultimately comes down to personal preference. You know, if something makes you feel good and relaxed, then it's probably doing its job. And that's the point, right? Yeah, yeah. I also think it's important to note that even though ASMR has potential benefits, it's not a replacement for professional help if someone is struggling with serious mental health issues. Absolutely. I mean, it can be a great tool for self-care and relaxation, but it's not a cure-all. Totally. So if you're dealing with anxiety, depression, or anything else, it's important to seek professional help. So, it seems like ASMR is more than just a trend. It's a fascinating phenomenon that's tapping into something fundamental about how our brains and bodies respond to sensory input. And who knows what other potential benefits we might discover in the future? Yeah, it's really exciting to see where the research goes from here, right? Well, thanks for taking us on this deep dive into the world of ASMR. It's been a real eye-opener. And for our listeners out there, I encourage you to explore this world for yourself. Yeah, have fun with it. You might be surprised by what you discover and maybe even unlock a whole new level of relaxation and well-being. Yeah. You know, what's really interesting to think about, though, is this idea of personal triggers. Yeah, like what is it about certain sounds or sights that makes some people experience ASMR and others not? Is there something deeper going on there? Some connection to our individual experiences or memories? You know, that's something to ponder, isn't it? Absolutely. There's a lot we still don't know about the brain and how it processes sensory information, but I think ASMR is giving us a unique window into those mysteries. That's a great point to end on, I think. Thanks again for joining us, and until next time, keep exploring, keep listening, keep feeling, and most importantly, keep taking care of yourselves. Take care.